We are now about six miles off the end of the runway. So we're putting power, the torque back to about 800 on the torque, which is right up here on the upper left. You can see that on that right now or not. It's a good power thing to start with. Turn back toward the runway. It's going to be kind of a long final, long gradual final. On our pinch hitter card, we have subpart 800 torque. Five mile final, we kind of put down both notches of flaps right at the last little bit together instead of doing it step by step, just one notch. When you turn around here, you'll be able to see the runway out, out the windshield here. So as we start coming down, get a kind of series coming down the glide slope, we bring the power back to 500, and that'll maintain a good 95 to 100 knots or so on the speed all the way down, which is a nice speed. The goal is to keep the runway in the same place as the windshield, which is about probably half, two thirds of the way up the windshield. As we get over the runway, we just bring the power back to idle and land it. So, Park Rapids area traffic, Kodiak 5 tonight, November only on currently on a 5 mile final for 1 3 Park Rapids. Okay, so 800 pounds of torque. That keeps us within the flap speed. Alright, now we have a crosswind from our right, so the nose is going to be kind of cocked off to the right all the way down, so it's not going to really line up like we'd really like it to right now if there's no wind. But that's kind of the world we live in, obviously. With yeah, well, that's good. That's reality for us. Right. Now we're going to perfect. But the goal is to keep the runway, you know, going toward it. Just grab the nose into the wind. Whatever you need to do to keep yourself going toward the runway. So we're about a ten degree or so correction to the wind right now for the runway with the crosswind we have. So this torque setting, what you're looking for, still has zero degrees of flaps at this point. We get close enough where we want to start coming down. We're about 3,600 feet. We're kind of gradually coming down, but it'll get a little closer. We'll come down more of a normal descent rate. At this point, we'll bring in a notch of flaps, and the second notch of flaps are at the bat. Just do them both at the same time. One less step to think about. Just put it right down to 20 degrees. Right back to 500 pounds. Big lane traffic, pipeline 172 is two miles to the south. Full level pipeline patrol will be passing in close proximity to the field. Safely. Okay, now the controls, the controls get kind of heavy, so a little bit of trim like that, you can pull this wheel back until it's not so hard to hold up, and you can let the controls, and it just kind of flies itself. Now this is kind of the sight picture we're looking at at this point. You can see the runway is kind of staying, almost getting a little bit below us, a little high, so I'll put the nose down just a fuzz to keep it right in the same spot. Just let it fly right into the runway. Five hundred. Okay, we're approaching the runway now, so if we get over the runway, just start gradually reducing the power just a little bit, bring back a little more, a little more, to get around 300 or so, just kind of let it settle on the runway. Both like that, just kind of fly it on like this, and bring the nose up just a little bit, part of idle, around the ground. At this point, you just kind of let it roll. You don't have to do anything fancy with the brakes. got a lot of runway, let it roll.
Talk about your feet too, with just you. Yeah, we're doing that. My feet on the top of the pedals, just a little bit of brakes on both sides, both rudders, a little bit of brake, brake action on both of them. It's a nice even, smooth push on both of them, so just stay straight. Do a little bit to one, one way or the other, we'll end up veering one way or the other off the center line, so.